Hi, my fellow rock lovers and fans of Shiny Rocks. This should be a fun video. These are rocks that Kendra found out in West Texas. That's right. She and I were out in West Texas rock hunting on private property recently, picking up lots of cool rocks. So these are some of hers. And she asked me, she says, uh, Scott, would you be able to tumble these, get them shiny, but don't lose the shape? And I said, well, I'll certainly give it a shot. She likes the way these things look naturally. She just wants me to try to get a shine on it. Well, this one in particular is really cool. You can see it's some kind of agate. So what I'm gonna do with these is I'm gonna start them in the vibratory tumbler on my, basically my step two, which is the 220 grit. I'll run that for probably three, I don't know, maybe four days, because we do need to get these a little bit smoother to take some kind of shine. I'll do that and then I'll move on with the preceding steps, the 600 grit, the the 1500 grit, and then finally the aluminum oxide polish. So it'll probably take, oh, I don't know, 10 days or so to get these done. And once they're done, I'll bring them back in here and we'll look at them. Hopefully they will still have this, well, in some cases, very unique shape, and yet a little bit of polish on them. This one, we're not sure. This could be petrified wood. It sort of looks like it. So that's the plan. I'll get these in the vibratory tumbler, and I'll just go through four steps. And I'll bring them back in here, and hopefully we'll have us some shiny rocks. Check it out. Kendra's rocks are finally finished with their natural polish. And some of them turned out pretty nice. Others didn't take a shine at all. And one of them, I'm talking about you, broke into about a thousand little pieces. So that one didn't survive. But as far as the rest of them go, let's take a closer look at some of these. Let's begin with this little piece of chalcedony that Kendra picked up over on the Ritchie Ranch, just outside of Alpine, Texas. Of course, it didn't get smooth because I started with the 220 grit in the vibratory tumbler, but as you can see, it did take a pretty decent shine, and that shine does, I think, help bring out some of the banding that's in there. I think this is a cool-looking rock now. I, I like it. And then there's this interesting agaty, quartzy rock here that... Looks like some of the areas took a nice little sparkly shine. Here's another good example of that West Texas chalcedony that went through the polishing in the vibratory tumbler. Gets a good shine in spots. Here's an example of one of the stones that did not take a polish. And I've been looking at this and several other pieces like it. I think this might be fossilized seashell. We got a lot of this. We thought it was going to be petrified wood but it's not, it's clearly not. And it does sort of look and act like the fossilized shells that I have played with before in the shop. So that's what I think this is. So from what type of creature, I have no idea. As you can see, it's rather thick. Well, who knows, right? Here's an interesting little agate that she had me toss in that vibratory tumbler. And again, the shape didn't change much, but look at the beautiful shine that it took in places. That's right, just go through those four stages in the vibratory tumbler and you can definitely get a good shine on even these very rough looking rocks. This of course is another piece of the West Texas chalcedony. Here you can see some banding in there. Pretty cool, got a nice reflection going. Maybe even some citrine up there, what do you think? This little piece appears to be petrified wood. It looks similar to the fossilized shell I showed you a minute ago, but the difference being this took a great shine. I think that's what this is. Here are a couple of the smalls that she found that look to be carnelian, and I don't know what that red one would be. Neat stuff. Very small. Not much to do with it, but it, it did take a good shine. This is a cool agate that she found, and this white stuff appears to be calcite, and it did undercut quite a bit, but... Through it all, you can see that beautiful bluish agaty material coming through. That did take a good shine. I like this one. I don't know what this dark green one is, but I really like it. It's a beautiful little rock. I don't know how she found this thing. It's tiny. Those young eyes, I guess. It took an okay shine, and uh, it's just a great deep green color. Okay, we're down to the final two. This is one of those agate nodules that is beautiful. Look at the, I think it's this side. Yeah, this side here, you can see it has some, some banding in there, the little quartz going on. It's not tumbled smoothly, but still, look at the way it turned out. I think Kendra might be onto something with this natural polish look. 
And for our last rock, check this out. This is definitely petrified wood, and it did take a good shine. Imagine that, skipping that first stage and still getting a shine like that. Beautiful. This is what she was going for, the natural polish. Now, she did come over this weekend, and we were playing in the shop, cutting rocks, and she did see these and love them, so I'm very happy. She's happy, I'm happy. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this little video. I hope you enjoyed it. These are Kendra's rocks that have been naturally polished. She found all these out in West Texas a few weeks ago, and now look at them. What a difference. Again, thank you for watching these videos. Please remember to check my other videos for more like this.